what seed are you guys most excited about growing this year? The cucumelon. All of you? Yeah. Why? Because it's, it, it's going to be our new snack. That's going to be your new snack? I want to try it. We have so much going on around here, actually. Uh, it's been getting kind of exciting. I got uh, my first set of cast iron pans, which is pretty cool. Uh, my grandma has always cooked with cast iron, and um, I just haven't. I just haven't ever gotten them. I kind of think maybe I've just been kind of scared. Uh, we always borrow Jay's mom's for camping and stuff because they're perfect to take with us to go camping. Um, regular pans will burn in an open fire like that. They just can't handle it. And so we finally broke down and we got some. So that's pretty exciting. Um, then all of our plants over here, um, let me show you them real quick. All of these plants are getting super big, and obviously you can tell these are not regular grow lights, but they've been working very well. They put off a sufficient amount of light and heat for the plants. They've been working really well. Look at my lettuce in here, guys. Uh, this is a gourmet blend that I found all of my other lettuce. I just have not been able to even get it to sprout but look at this it is doing so great in there um, so I'm pretty happy about that and then I've got some little calendula flowers and some basil lots of plants don't mind this one this one was actually a experiment it's lima beans and uh, it is way too cold for them but it was a school experiment for my daughter so um, I'm still trying to bring them back to life and keep them in good condition to plant in the garden so you can see they've got all these new green leaves and they're looking great but these older ones are just looking terrible uh, the cup is just too small they're getting kind of root bound in there so I'm looking for a container that I can put them in to uh, up pot them so that they uh, will survive um, anyway all of these plants are taking up a really good portion of my counter here. I don't know that you can see. Um, it's like a whole half of my kitchen bar here. And uh, just this giant window here is perfect for where we have them. But we are in the process of converting our pantry into a um, grow room for the time being. I was uh, tagged in a challenge by Natasha over at Little Ranch Farm and um, it's the top five seeds for 2019. This is really late into the game um, being March um, and this was started by the Wright Farm. I will go ahead and put their links um, in the description below. Uh, and I don't plan on tagging anyone else um, just because it's just so late into this. But I wanted to tell you guys um, the seeds, the top five seeds that we're most excited to grow. Um, I actually already went through a majority of my seeds on another video, so I will link that um, as well. Uh, because I'm really excited to grow a lot of these. I'm really new into the gardening thing. Um, last year we started kind of late, I think June-ish is when we started our first garden and um, we just kind of planted the normal tomato, cucumber kind of thing, you know. Um, so I started watching videos and I just started getting all of this knowledge and gleaning from all of these other people and I found all kinds of new varieties of things that I didn't even know existed. 
um, it was almost as if I had been sheltered from the real world um, of food. So I'm actually really excited to grow just about everything. Um, but since you guys said five, we had to narrow it down just for you. Uh, it was really hard to pick and honestly, there's just so many. So I uh, had my kids and my husband help me out. So these are the five we have agreed upon. <laughs> um, four tomatoes. We're big tomato lovers and um, my kids eat cherry tomatoes like crazy. So um, the one I'm most excited about is Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. Um, I just love it because of the colors and um, I heard that it had just the best taste ever so uh, we're pretty excited about it my kids are really excited I'm actually doing a snack station in the garden so this is gonna be uh, planted next to their snack station so they're very much There's looking forward to that thank you Jara made me a sandwich guys Play-Doh. Uh, so there's there's number one. Brad's Atomic Grape Cherry Tomatoes. Um, and since we're talking about Snack Station, our second most excited is Cucamelon. I actually got about six Cucamelon seeds um, through a seed swap and so I'm I'm going to risk it all and plant all six in hopes that we get a couple of good um, survivors out of it. Hopefully all six, but uh, I don't know how well the germination rate is on these. So I'm really fingers crossed hoping that we get some good plants so that I can um, let the kids and obviously me try them um as well as save the seeds if they like them so that we can plant them again uh so this is going to be on the other side of their snack station i'm going to let it just vine up their snack station well, and um, snack station. you're going to make me a snack station <laughs> okay um i'm going to just going to let it vine up over it and let that way whenever they go out there they can just pick them right off and eat them so they're pretty excited about it. They said this is their top pick um, out of all of the seeds that we're growing this year. And um, if you haven't already seen the video about the snack station, um, I will link that up here so that you guys can go vote and uh, tell me which color you think I should paint it whenever it warms up because it's getting to be that time and I'm pretty excited to do that. Mama, it's morning again. Yeah, the sun is out. Okay, so another one that I'm really excited to grow and we all are here. Um, I actually own a small little online shop and I do like um, bath bombs and um, sugar scrubs and things like that, as well as some fabric made items. Um, but when I found that loofahs actually grew, <laughs> I was just like dumbfounded. So um, the loofah gourd definitely made the top five list. We're just really excited. Uh, we like Asian foods and we heard that it young um, can be eaten um, and it's similar to like a zucchini or something oh, and it's used in glitter hands. Mm -hmm. it's used in a lot of um, Asian dishes but then if you let it grow out and you let it dry then the inside becomes a sponge where you can actually wash your body so um, I'm actually really excited we have a special place um, for our loofahs to grow we're going to make a teepee we had one last year but uh, we're gonna make a way bigger one and the Lufa Gourds have their own special place in our garden this year. So number four is mammoth sunflowers. The kids love sunflower seeds. We wanna get chickens and we heard that sunflower seeds is something chickens like as well. And I really like how big these get. They are massive, they're huge. So 
Um, I just think it will look awesome. We have a lot of people that stop and um, gawk at our garden last year. There wasn't even a whole lot of a garden there. It was 40 square foot, but people stopped and they said it was beautiful, they loved it. And so now that it's going to be bigger, I wanted to incorporate some color and some beauty. I have always liked gardens that have vegetables as well as flowers, and it will be beneficial too. So. Um, these are definitely on the list. So there's number four. And our number five is going to be herbs. Now, um, I have anxiety actually really bad and I do not like to take uh, medicine. I don't like it. I, uh, I, um, a cheese sandwich for you. Okay, thank you. Here's my cheese sandwich, guys. Um, and I have been looking for a long time for a natural way to help suppress it or um, relieve the the um, feelings and stuff. And um, I don't like to take medicines. I forget to take them. And um, there's a lot of different ones that I'm actually allergic to. So I am on a search to um, find a medicinal, uh, natural way to help with that. And I also like the idea of having um, something that I can use all natural for my children. Um, I'm not a huge fan of medicines. My second child actually, um, she was allergic to diapers and we didn't realize, the doctors didn't realize, and so at one point she was three months old on 10 different medications. And, you know, I feel like having um, natural things will help because their bodies and our bodies, you know, they just get used to those kinds of Mama, medicines. And they all, most of them, just have some really bad side effects. So, all natural, all the way is my plan. And um, the herb that I'm really excited about growing is calendula. Um, I got some on a seed swap. Uh, I heard that they have just an abundance of uh, benefits. So that is one of the top ones I'm trying as well as chamomile. Um, I, because chamomile is supposed to help with anxiety as well as supposed to ease your nerves. and. Um, I actually haven't ever tried a store-bought chamomile tea or anything, so I'm looking forward to homegrown chamomile tea. So that is our top five list. You want to come say hi to everybody? Yeah. Um, like I said, we have way more than just five. We just narrowed it down for you guys, and actually, I think I ended up with six. But say hi. But um, if you like this video, please subscribe, share, hit the bell if you want to be notified, and uh, we'll post a new one here soon. Bye, guys.